Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we are proving the formula for height of an equilateral triangle. If you don't know what the formula is, then you might as well just keep watching, because we're gonna prove it, and it's a nice, quick, easy proof. I think it's a nice little fun one. So, I hope you enjoy, let's get into it. So let's say we have an equilateral triangle, then we know that all of these sides are congruent. Let's suppose that they have length b. Obviously, it doesn't matter what you call them. They're all congruent and they all have measure b. I probably should have drawn this a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Now we're going to draw an angle bisector through any vertex, doesn't matter since it's equilateral, but let's say we draw one through here. Now we've cut this triangle into two congruent triangles. How do we know they're congruent? Because of side angle side. So we know that this side is congruent to this side because it's an equilateral triangle. We know that this angle in here is congruent to this angle in here because we bisected the angle. And then we know that this side is congruent to itself because congruence is reflexive. So we've got two congruent triangles here and it also happens that they are congruent right triangles because these two angles have to be congruent since the triangles are congruent and they are also supplementary. And any congruent supplementary angles each individually have a measure of 90 degrees. So these are congruent right triangles. And the congruent right triangles have a leg which is the height of the equilateral triangle, which is what we're trying to figure out. So we could take either one of these right triangles, doesn't really matter which, I'm gonna draw one of them over here just so we have a bigger picture to work with. So let's say we've taken this right triangle, it's got a hypotenuse length of B, we know that this leg length is B over two because we bisected this side since we know this side has to be congruent to this side because these triangles are congruent so this has to be b over 2 and this has to be b over 2 so that they add up to b the base length of the whole equilateral triangle so this leg length is b over 2 this hypotenuse is b and this leg length is h the height which is what we're trying to find so then we can just use the pythagorean theorem to have b divided by 2 all squared plus h squared equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is b squared. And now we can do this out. We'll get b squared divided by four, squaring the numerator and denominator, plus h squared equals b squared. Then we multiply everything by four to get rid of the fraction, and that leaves us with b squared plus four h squared equals four b squared. And now we can subtract a b squared from both sides as we try to get h by itself. Leaves us with 4h squared equals 3b squared. Divide everything by 4. Push this up a little bit. We get h squared equals 3 fourths b squared. And then we just have to take a square root. I'm going to do that right up here. So now we take a square root of both sides of this equation. And that's going to give us h equal to the square root of 3b squared divided by 4. This square root is going over the whole thing. And you can rewrite this as the square root of the numerator divided by the square root of the denominator. We know that the square root of the denominator is 2, so we know it's going to be divided by 2. The square root of 3, we can't simplify, so we know we're going to be left with the square root of 3 but we can take out a b squared as just b because the square root of b squared is b, so we are left with the height of an equilateral triangle being equal to b multiplied by the square root of three all over two. And this is indeed the true formula for the height of an equilateral triangle. And this is why it's true, you see the proof? and that is the formula. So you can find the height of an equilateral triangle and henceforth you can find the area without needing to know um, the actual number of the height. So you can just take your B and plug it right in there. Boom, you get your height. And then of course you can plug that into your area formula and we can use this height formula, um, plug it into our area formula and we use that to define the area of an equilateral triangle and we get a handy dandy formula for that. I've got a couple videos on that as well. So if you wanna check that out, I hope you will. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. All the way up here, dear.
Won't you please come to me? You live it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.